Hi everyone, so I'm Gaëtan de l'Etoile and I'm going to talk about today about, one my, about my project uh, I'm conducting in the Electronic Visions Group, uh, which is uh, led by uh, Professor Mayer and Dr. Schemmel. So I'm supervised by Vitaly Karasenko. So you may, you may already know that in Heidelberg we're developing uh, neuromorphic hardware. So this is a picture of Herrick with our hardware. And this is uh, what I'm interested in. So um, our hardware basically emulates um, neural networks. And the, the, the idea is that we can speed up the biological time uh, to 10,000 uh, 10, times. Yeah. So uh, since our hardware is very fast, the, simulation, uh, the emulations can be run very quickly. Um, and if we want to run, for example, a thousand um, experiments on our uh, hardware, uh, what will take time will be, of course, the, the runtime of the experiment, but also the setup of the experiment. So to improve uh, this, um, this setup time, um, I'm developing this, uh, this uh, high speed um, <coughs> Uh, that protocol. Uh, so wh what's the basic idea? Um, the problem is that um, between our hardware and the user, there are losses. The, um, so the setup um, data uh, can be corrupted during the, the transmission. So we have this set of data and it's a bit corrupted. So first we, we need to check um, whether this data is corrupted or not. So we add what is called a checksum. And thanks to that, uh, added to these bits added at the end of our data, we can find whether our data is corrupted or not. And then we, ta we can ask to send it again if it's, been if it's been corrupted. The problem is that if we know that it's been corrected, co corrupted, we, we have to send all the data again. In order to avoid that, we divide our data into small chunks of data um, and we index them. So we only have to, to send again the, um, the smaller piece that, that has been corrupted. So that's the basic idea of the algorithm, um, of the protocol. Um, so the problem is, of course, that since you add an index and a, a checksum, if you divide into two small chunks of data, you will also affect your bandwidth. So you're trying to optimize the, the packet size. So that's uh, what I've done here for, for a given set of, uh, of parameters. Of course, it's more complicated than that. I simplified it a lot. But it's just to give an overview of how we, uh, there are many parameters in this protocol, and we are trying to optimize them all to, to have the best throughput. Um, so uh, this is not a, a, an easy problem. Uh, and this optimization over a multi-dimensional, uh, yeah, it's a multi-dimensional problem. We will, we're planning to, to solve that with a Monte Carlo approach. It's like we simulate, um, we, we simulate the, um, our, proto our, our protocol works, we, we make it work with uh, different bunches of, uh, of, uh, um, of parameters, and then we check which one, which set of parameters is the best. So if you want more details, I'll be happy to answer questions at the poster session. Thank you for your attention.